February 15, 2018 Am I my brother's keeper? None of us lives to himself. Romans 14 7 Has it ever dawned on you that you are responsible spiritually to God for other people? For instance, if I allow any turning away from God in my private life, everyone around me suffers. We sit together in the heavenly places, Ephesians 2 6. If one member suffers, all the members suffer with it, 1 Corinthians 12 26. If you allow physical selfishness, mental carelessness, moral insensitivity, or spiritual weakness, everyone in contact with you will suffer. But you ask, who is sufficient to be able to live up to such a lofty standard? Our sufficiency is from God, and God alone, 2 Corinthians 3 5. You shall be witnesses to me, Acts 1 8. How many of us are willing to spend every bit of our nervous, mental, moral, and spiritual energy for Jesus Christ? That is what God means when he uses the word witness. But it takes time, so be patient with yourself. Why has God left us on the earth? Is it simply to be saved and sanctified? No, it is to be at work in service to him. Am I willing to be broken bread and poured out wine for him? Am I willing to be of no value to this age or this life except for one purpose and one alone to be used to disciple men and women to the Lord Jesus Christ? My life of service to God is the way I say thank you to him for his inexpressibly wonderful salvation. Remember, it is quite possible for God to set any of us aside if we refuse to be of service to him, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified, 1 Corinthians 9 27.